Our today's topic is structure and reproduction or multiplication of mycoplasma. The term mycoplasma is derived from the Greek word mites, means fungus, and plasma means formed. Mycoplasma is a genus of bacteria that lack a cell wall around their cell membranes. Mycoplasmas were first discovered by Pasteur in 1843 when he was studying the causal organisms of a disease, Pleuromonia, in cattle. He named these organisms as pleuronomonia like organisms, that is PPLO, but Pasteur failed to isolate them in pure culture. Then these organisms were first isolated by two French bacteriologists, E. Nocard and E. R. Roxin, in 1898 from pleurofluid of cattle affected with this disease, that is pleuronomonia. These organisms then were named as mycoplasma in 1929 by Novak. More than 200 mycoplasmas like bodies are found to be associated with seaways, plants, animals, insects, humans, hot water springs, and other high temperature environments. Now, general characteristic of mycoplasma. Mycoplasmas are the smallest prokaryotic organisms. Cell wall is absent. Plasma membrane is present. And uh, plasma membrane forms the outer boundary of the cell. Because no cell wall is there in the case of mycoplasma, they are unaffected by many common antibiotics such as penicillin or other beta lactam antibiotics. Uh, right? Because these antibiotics they mainly target cell wall synthesis. Mycoplasmas are highly pleomorphic. Because no rigid cell wall is present around the cell, lack of nucleus and other membrane bound organelles, right? Genetic material is single DNA duplex and it is naked. Ribosomes are of 70s type. Steroles are an essential component of the mycoplasma, plasma membrane, right? Uh, because they may facilitate osmotic stability in the absence of cell wall. Mycoplasmas are among the smallest bacteria capable of self-reproduction. Most species of mycoplasma are facultative anaerobes, but a few are obligate anaerob uh, anaerobes. Facultative means facultative organism is an organism that may resort to parasitic activity but does not absolutely rely on any host for completion of its life cycle. Right? Mycoplasmas are heterotrophic in nutrition. Some live as saprophytes, but the majority are parasites of plants and animals. Most of the species require sterols for growth, and they obtain sterols from the hosts. Now classification. With the discovery of several groups of mycoplasma, they uh, have been categorized as mycoplasmas, infect animals, phytoplasmas, infect plants, spiroplasmas, infect plants and insects, ichoplasmas, infect animal plants and insects, and entomoplasmas that infect insects as well as plants. Based on nutritional requirement, mycoplasmas are uh, mainly divided into three groups. First is mycoplasma that require cluster for their growth and they parasitize on animals including man by causing damage to the mucous membrane and different joints of the body. Second, a coliplasma. They do not require cluster for their growth. They are variable, uh, sorry, they are uh, available in sea wastewater and soil as saprophytes, right? And in vertebrates and also in plants as parasites. Third, group is thermoplasma. They also do not require cluster for their growth. They are aerobic microorganisms, right? Showing good growth in acidic pH with optimum temperature of 59 degree Celsius. Now, morphology of uh, mycoplasma cell. Mycoplasmas are very small, unicellular 
uh, usually non-motile and prokaryotic organisms. They are filtrable through bacteria filters. Mycoplasmas are highly resistant to penicillin, but inhibited by tetracyclines, right? They are highly pleomorphic, showing small cocoid bodies, uh, ring form, filamentous forms, which may be branched. You can see here in this figure, different shapes of mycoplasma cell. When grown on agar, most form colonies with a fried egg appearance, right? Because these, these are uh, small, small colonies, mycoplasmas grow into agar surface at the center while spreading outward on the surface of uh, surface at the colony edges right and it appears like a fried egg that's why its name is fried egg colonies now cell structure in mycoplasma cells are small varying from 300 nm to 800 nm in diameter and you can see here the structure of mycoplasma cell. Cell is surrounded by triple layered lipoproteinaceous unit membrane, right? This is lipoprotein membrane. It is about 10 mm in, in thickness. Within the cytoplasm, RNA and DNA are present and also ribosomes. Ribosomes are 14 nm mm in diameter and uh, 70s type. As already I told you, DNA is double standard helix. This is coiled DNA. It can be distinguished from bacterial DNA by its low guanine and cytosine content. DNA is up to 4% and RNA is about 8%. And it is less than half that usually occur in other protoplasms, right? Guanine and cytosine content in DNA range from 23 to 46%. The genomes of the human pathogens means mycoplasma that cause diseases in human, for example, mycoplasma genitalium, mycoplasma uh, pneumoniae, and uh, ureaplasma urealyticum, they have fewer than 1000 genes, suggesting a minimal genome size, right? In some species, for example, in uh, Galisepticum, some polar bodies protrude out from one or the other end of the cell and these bodies are called blood and are considered to be the site of enzymatic activities and also helping attachment during infection. Now reproduction in mycoplasma. Mycoplasmas are reproduced by budding or by binding fission and binding fission you know is a method of asexual reproduction that involves a splitting of a parent cell into two daughter cells, right? What happens in this process? First, you can see here, this is a mycoplasma cell. First, cell elongation. Here, cell elongate. Then, genetic material that is DNA replication. Thereafter, one copy of origin begins to move toward the other end of the cell. Right? Two copies of DNA are, are formed. Right? And one copy of origin begins to move for the other end, uh, end of the cell. Now, after finishing the replication, a cell membrane begins to grow inward between the two DNA molecules. You can see here, this is, right? So, after the formation of septum, when septum formation is completed, and one cell then means both the cells get separated and two daughter cells are formed, right? Now, how mycoplasmas are transmitted? Mycoplasma-like organisms uh, or phytoplasmas are usually present in phloem of the host plants and are transmitted from host to another host by leaf hoppers. Some are transmitted by psyllids, tree hoppers, plant hoppers, and some possibly by aphids and mites. Some of the pathogen are known to infect various organ in, uh, organ, organs of leaf hopper or psyllid, right? And 
the means to multiply in their cells. So vectors cannot transmit phytoplasma immediately after feeding on the infected plant, but it begins to transmit after an incubation period of 10 to 45 days, depending upon the temperature, right? So now here are some diseases caused by mycoplasma. Mycoplasmas cause disease, uh, diseases in plants, human, and also in animals. So there are few important plant diseases caused by mycoplasma, like uh, little leaf disease of brinjal, bunch top of papaya, which is bloom of legume, uh, yellow dwarf of tobacco, etc. Similarly, in humans, primary or typical pneumonia is caused by mycoplasma pneumonia. Uh, mycoplasma hominis cause, uh, causes pleuropneumonia or uh, inflammation of genitals, right? Similarly, in animal diseases, mycoplasma eclecti causes eclectia to goat and sheep and mycoplasma mycoids, they cause pleuropneumonia of cattle, right? So, these are some diseases caused by mycoplasma. So, this is all about mycoplasma. Thank you.